Are you in your happy place? Sorry? Are you in your happy place? what we did today we shopped for books so we're gonna we're gonna do a book haul I am mostly here to look pretty <laughs> I bought some mince pies to be fair and we went for lunch as well mm -hmm. yeah it was good a yeah. nice tea room it's, it's been a nice day well maybe we could just show the books yeah that we bought maybe that could be a nice thing to do do you want to go first should I go first you go first and I'll sandwich in the middle somewhere and then... Okay. The first book I bought is an Ernest Hemingway book of short stories. The Short Happy Life of Francis McComer. I've never heard of it. But it's uh, yeah, a book of Hemingway's short stories. I haven't read any of his short stories. So, yeah. I thought it would be cool. The next book is One Day in the Life of Ivan... Denisovich? How would you say it? Denisovich? Denisovich sounds more right. Ivan Denisovich. It's by Alexander Solzhenitsyn and it's before the Gulag Archipelago. I'd read that before and he ended up winning the Nobel Prize for all his work. It's like considered to have started the the wave of literature that brought down the Soviet Union. Maybe I can present this next one because I was the one who found it. Paul bought mm -hmm. it, but uh, next we have The Photographic Guide to Identify Birds. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, have not, I don't have much to say about that, except that it looks old and cool. It looks old and I like that it's actual photographs of birds and not drawings. Huh. Is this our first book about birds? Doubt it. It might be. We borrowed one from our parents, but mm, I think we've yeah. given it back. The next book is a collection of stories by J.M. Barry, who's obviously famous for writing Peter Pan, so Peter Pan's one of them. And uh, yeah, well, J.M. Barry is from Kirimur, which is a, a town maybe 15 miles or so from, from where I grew up. So yeah, there's five books in here. I've never actually read it. Uh, I liked the, the movie when I was a kid, but never actually read the story, so... Oh, is it my turn? You can go. Sure. I, uh, I have a field guide to the wildflowers of Britain. You would think I have an interest in wildflowers of Britain, or botanics, or flowers, <laughs> which is not the case. But it has really nice illustrations in it, um, and I want to incorporate more, more nature and stuff that I draw, so I think it will be really good to have a reference. I already have a little Lithuanian book that has pretty cool illustrations, but it's pretty small, whereas this one is quite quite beefy. 
will take up a lot of room in the suitcase, but we brought a whole suitcase for books and mince pies, so it's okay. The next book I bought is The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. It's probably, in terms of being a creative and people who are into like the creative process and all that stuff, it's probably the most cited book as far as I'm concerned. The, 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 the one I've heard most about anyway. I've got the audiobook of this, I've listened to it before, it's kind of cool. So I figured the book cost one forty nine. so I decided to buy it too. I think it's cool to have for, for reference. The last book is a book of photos from the 1910s. Um, I'd like to buy more photography books. I, I don't have very many, but I really enjoy looking through them for, for reference every now and again. And this one I found, it has some cool ones. Most of them were like of the war and I didn't realize until after I bought it, there's a lot of decapitation in this. I was looking through it beside a two year old and that was a bit, oh dear, maybe I shouldn't look at this. But anyway, there's definitely some cool, uh, some cool photos in this and it cost me one pound, so. Um, what was the cheapest book that you bought today, that we bought today collectively? This photo book for one pound. Uh, the others are one forty nine. Oh, I think two fifty, and then your one's two ninety nine. Yeah, this Takes this was the, the most expensive one of the day. And which one are you most excited about? Uh, I don't Can know. You see birds. <laughs> <laughs> not not the bird one, although although it might be fun, but yeah. probably. I don't know, probably the Hemingway short stories. I didn't realise he'd written many short stories and I really, I always enjoy reading this stuff. Yep, we'll just be a minute. Getting called for dinner. Like We're getting children. called for dinner. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I'd say probably the Hemingway one I'm most excited about. Um, for me, the flowers, obviously. Mm -hmm. Seeing as it's the only book that I bought. Yeah, but anyway. Okay, maybe let's go and have dinner and then we can finish up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we've had food. Yeah, it was very good. I thoroughly enjoyed so far having meals cooked for me mm. every night. It's spot on. Yeah, it's nice staying with people. Tomorrow we're gonna go into Bristol, so. Should I have a nice, exciting video for my channel too? Yeah, should be should be good. Probably will. I reckon there's gonna be another book haul. Yeah, how do you want to sign off? I'm gonna go with a simple night night. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow over on Ellie's channel for a fun, exciting video. <laughs>